Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to a new episode of Satisfactory. If you guys are enjoying the content, then feel free to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. This video was streamed live on Twitch and YouTube. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to drop a subscription and a follow on their respective platforms, and enjoy the video. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so the first is smelters are in. Uh, let's get some conveyor belts hooked up to these. Uh, why are you still there? Interesting. Uh, you go down there. You're going into that one. And I want to destroy you. There we go. And then for this one, have we got conveyor lifts? We have. That's good. So you're going to come out of you, and you're going to go into you. You're going to come out of you, go into you. And I want conveyor between and between. Uh, in fact, I actually also want... I want you assigned to five and six. In fact, no. Four... Five. One, two. Ah, man research complete. Let's go have a look, shall we? Alright, so hard drive scan has been completed. The scanned hard drive has been added to your hard drive library. So let's have a look. Oh, so I can get plus six completed. inventory slots. Recipe selection available in the man. Or iron wire, which is copper wire, but it's made with iron instead. A, I don't really want that, because it actually takes more iron than it does copper. Let's rescan. Cast screws! Five iron instantly makes 20 screws, instead of having to make rods. That is a brilliant recipe. Yes, I'm selecting that. So now, if we actually look... In a constructor. I'm going to configure a sec. Alternate. Cast screws. Actually takes five iron. In theory that's going to cost more. But it saves all the hassle of actually calculating. That's actually a good recipe. I'm, I'm not annoyed at that one. Because screws are a bit of a pain in the backside to actually make. So yeah, it takes an extra iron ingot altogether to make those 20 screws. In fact, no, it doesn't. It's the same amount, so it skips a step. It skips the rod portion. That's brilliant. Aaron, what up? How are you today? Alright, so we're going to set up these uh, smelters now. So this one's going to produce iron. This one's iron as well. Iron... Iron. That should be four iron. And then these two are here. A copper. And copper. Obviously with the node that we've got around the corner. Uh, this does 120 a minute. But we've only got 60 conveyor belts. So once we get Mark II Logistics. I can actually expand out a little bit more. Which we're almost at Mark II Logistics. So uh, next up is power configuration. So I'm going to stick... Figure out a nice spot. That'd be a good spot. So go for you and you. On the next one. Line that up. In fact, no, it's supposed to be in the middle there, isn't it? Because these smelters aren't quite the length of one thing. Uh, I need you. There we go. Stick that into you and you. Obviously, if I do it this way, uh, it means that anytime we want to expand, we'll always have the uh, headroom to actually do that. Because as soon as I want to expand, build one more. There's always three at the end. Because these middle ones are going to be absolutely maxed out. But it's good that way because it's cheaper on materials as well even if we have mark 2 or mark 3s it'll still be cheaper on materials overall 
I definitely need some way to get down the side here so that when I'm moving around, I can access the machine still. Or I could just use this and build like a catwalk up here that I could then access each machine like this. Yeah, because you can access it like that. Because obviously if you're here, you can still do and pick and choose quite easily. But obviously we got to unlock catwalks for that. I almost forgot I need belts in these as well. That's good. So everything is set up. So I'm actually going to build... It's going to be a little ugly for now. Uh, where is it? Miner. That's going to go like that. That's going to go like that. This is going to cost a lot as well. Uh, clipping may occur. That's fine for now. Right, so these need to be powered off of... That. So one for those two, and then when we build on that node, we've got space for that one as well. Give it a second, this should be mining in a second, there we go. So we've got iron ore coming out, and those are obviously going into the first two smelters. Uh, we also need to get copper from up there and bring it all the way here. But for now, I think it's fine, because I'm going to stick with the iron... Because I want to start making reinforced plates as soon as possible. Once reinforced plates are up and running and the assemblers are up and running, brilliant. Right, so that's going into there, which means this should be going to this channel here. Which should split between these two smelters. There we go, we got iron ingots being produced. Perfect. We've also got iron ingots in these ones as well, so that is all good. And uh, once we get Mark II belts, stick a Mark II belt in, here doubles our production. That is awesome. So yeah, we've got plenty of iron going into the system now. And obviously, because of this modular system, as soon as I say wanna, uh, I want to produce a different item, you can change it as and when it's necessary. To be fair, smelters won't ever need to be changed because you just always use iron and stuff like that, but the rest of it sometimes needs changing. Especially if we need uh, foundries and stuff like that. Once I've got this up and running, the actual full factory, that's gonna be crazy. But now we should have assemblers. What a fun! Milestone reached. The assembler can produce more complex parts, including the first project part, smart plating, which is crucial for initiating smart project assembly. All right. So we need to build project the space elevator at some point. Delivered to the space elevator. By completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly, you will definitely yeah. be helping achieve fix-it company goals without any other ulterior I want to get motive. the outputs for these Note, all set up. Humans so... cannot craft project parts. Do not worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an Can assembler. Do. Yep. Fixit cherishes your innate human abilities, such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. Wait, hang on. One, two. Yeah, that should be fine. Two. Three. Four. Right, we got Mark II conveyors, so... Let's take you out. Is that about... Yeah, that's good. Right, so stick you in there. Then you only need to be Mark ones Here and here. Okay, they are producing stuff, that's good. 
Build that up. Right, so all of our iron is now being produced out here. It's all coming back here. Uh, yeah, the smelters are all powered. Uh, except for the six at the end, but it's easily expandable, so... One... Two. Dismantle you, dismantle you... Uh, stick them in personal storage for now. Alright, so if you look here now, we've got the uh, output mergers. Um, each one of these rows can have as many smelters as necessary. So, for example, this takes 120 a minute. Each smelter does 30, so this will only need four smelters. So, obviously we've got the four there, but... For copper, we can have another two smelters, and then we can make another row of iron, if and when it's necessary. Um, for now, I just want to get started on building, realistically, um, advanced plates. Because that's the most important part that we need to expand the base. Uh, and I think they're also necessary for smart plating as well, which is necessary in the assembler. So... Uh, let's have a look at foundations. Grab some four meters. Change a build mode. Go to zoop mode. go into oh I'm actually out of concrete but luckily for me concrete is just over here right so that's built there put that into there right so that should be far enough that I can put the split is in again hang on five four yeah, there's plenty of space here that I can do that. So, let's put down... We want splitter first to make sure. Then I want a constructor. So that's clipping. That's the first one. And then one, two. So that's about the right distance, but I want it to line up with the edge so it needs to go across one more and then if I build splitter, splitter that's obviously gonna fit Oh, that doesn't actually fit. Okay, maybe this needs to go back one more. Production, constructor. Was that where it was before? So, there? Why is it on straight build mode? Oh, well, that works. Wait, so is it because it was the build mode? That might have been messing it up. Possibly. Let's have a look here then. Because this should match up with conveyor lifts. Stick you in there, stick you in there. Yeah, that matches up perfectly. Obviously it clips in a little bit, but it doesn't actually look that bad, so... Cool. We know where our uh, constructors are going to be placed. So, we want... I'm going to get a line of four constructors for now. Uh, I'll do it this way, it's easier to see. Four. 
Right, so we've got a line of constructors. I like that this is our ent entrance point now into the whole system. Is just that conveyor pole. Uh, right, so we need iron plates. So I'm going to build an assembler quickly here. Oh, I'm missing rotors. Uh, what's the... That should be the right way. Yeah. Two constructors. So these two are for screws. These three are for plates. Oh, I haven't got the copper in the system yet. I was having a mild panic attack. I was like, where on earth is this copper ingot supposed to be? I haven't even set up the copper. <laughs> That's a great start. All right. So, yeah. We've got... This one's going to produce iron plates. This one's going to produce iron plates as well, and so is this one. And then for this one, we're going to do alternate cast screws. Uh, this way we get 100 screws a minute, which is more than enough that we need for the assemblers, so we can have an overflow going into another system that also needs screws, which I think rotors need screws. Is that right? Rotors is screws and rods, isn't it? Rods and screws. So, yeah, we can have the excess going in to build rotors. Um, but obviously prioritize what we've got right now. So, there we go. Right, so all of these are not going to be requesting many parts, so they can all be Mark 1 conveyors. Oh, I'm out of iron plates. Oh no, let's go get some more. Cool. Right, so this needs 30 ingots, 60 ingots, so anything beyond this point is a... 60 so it's fine it's a mark 2 there right now all of these should now be configured to be producing what we need so yeah this is the way that I've built this this is going to be easily expandable so uh, right. So that is that one, and then one, two. And then these screws are going to go up a level, so... So this is going to be making 60 plates, so... Uh, we'll go here. Gives me a little bit of space behind the assemblers. Because the assemblers is where I need the space. Your hands, what up? Convey about simulator is going good. Alright, uh, you are out of iron plates again. Alright, let's go build the power first then. Uh, connect you... Uh, let's have a look. So you I'll connect you there. Yeah, that's good. Right, so these machines are now starting to make plates, which is exactly what we need. But obviously, I can't actually pick up any of these plates, which is great. Or I can't have a machine pick them up as well. My brain was trying to say. But obviously, I can just go in like that. 
pick some of these up, which is going to be perfect for finishing this off. So, you can go there. You can go there. And you can go there. That's going to finish that up. Uh, for these screws, I think I'm going to have to use a Mark II. use a mark one for this one out of plates again that's great and you need two so that's fine literally right next to me there we go we've got loads of screws coming out now these are gonna go onto a conveyor pole which needs, ironically, more plates. Now that's on, we can get Mark II belt, like so. And there we go, that's the constructor's line completely finished. And obviously we can add more stuff as and when we need it. I think we need rods as well, so I'm going to expand this in a second. But that's the basic principle of how that system works, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next episode of the series. Peace.